What's going on YouTube? This is Dre the Plug coming at you guys with some more technical heat. And in this video, I'm basically going to describe to you guys a better version of iTunes. I mean, out of all cell phone companies, I feel like iTunes is the one thing that pretty much get the most gripe. And the reason why some people don't like iPhones because iTunes typically put you inside of this box where basically you got to go through iTunes to do anything on your phone when you're trying to sync or add anything from another device or another cell phone or something like that. You have to pretty much go through iTunes. We all know the process when it comes down to going through iTunes. You gotta hook it up to your laptop, let it sync, let it update and check if like you on the latest software. Then finally you drag and drop it into iTunes. Then if that worked, then you can drag it to your device. So just going through that whole entire process could be a pain and it's not even just like media type software. There's other things that if you just wanna drag and drop it, it'll be a whole process just to get through. It's like every time you hook up your phone to iTunes, you don't always wanna just take this extra time to have to sync and go through this whole entire phase. And my thing is if I wanna just go outside and take hundred pictures, come back, I feel like I shouldn't have to go through this whole entire process every time. But with this other software, it's called iTools. So you need iTools and you need iTunes the same time so if you have itunes you're good you're able to download itunes i'll actually drop the link down in the description below the software is free it's you know it takes probably like two minutes to download i feel like it's the one of the most slept on softwares and i like it because it's just so easy to use like it turns your iphone device into a flash drive basically you could just drag and drop anything and it'll instantly just transfer over and you don't have to wait for the whole loading process of you got to update it. Is your phone updated? All right, now we have to sync it. Now we got to go through these four steps of basically making sure your phone is up to date. Now you can drag and drop that media into iTunes. Now we can see it like going through that whole process. It just takes so much time where you can actually go into iTunes, go to the folder where the 100 pictures were, and then just drag and drop it onto your desktop or drag and drop it anywhere if you wanted to. And I just feel like that in itself can just save so much more time also, iTunes, like they have so much more information that iTunes don't have. So once you hook it up to iTunes, instantly you will already get like all of this additional information that you probably never even knew about on your iPhone. And then you can have all these extra features that you may want to do to your iPhone. You can do all type of different customizations. You can do screen record from your laptop. It's so many other things. I'm gonna just get into it and show you guys my spiel on why y'all should get iTools. It's one of the most slipped on softwares and it's extremely snappy. Like I said, it works as if it's a flash drive. A drag and drop something. If you don't want it, just delete the whole entire thing. If Let's say for example, right? Right now you want to download every single photo, every single album you have. You could just instantly click all of them and then export it to desktop and it'll instantly have its own designated folder and download in an instant versus having to go in and do the whole iTunes process is just gonna take so much more time. So I'm just here to save time for you guys. Let's get into the video. I'll just show y'all a couple features inside of iTunes. Definitely check it out. Okay, so let me show you guys how snappy it is. Boom. And it's already up and already connected. No process, no loading, none of that. Boom, you have all of this additional information, device, iOS, activation, all this good stuff, man. So then let's get into some of the features that I was talking about. As you guys can see, you got ringtone, iTunes backup manager. If you want to manage stuff you want to back up from iTunes, you can. You got file explorer, which is what I like the most. While I was explaining how it pretty much acts as a flash drive, you just drag and drop stuff, phone transfer, video converter. So jumping over here to this tab, you have your, see here, my device. You got apps. If you want to back up your apps, if you want to update your apps, on to like your all right so jumping into your photos you can literally drag and drop these like i said just click one you can export it this whole entire folder could be straight onto your desktop instantly or let's say you want to actually put photos into this file or into this folder you can literally just import it and then it'll say like what type of like where, where are the pictures that you want to add just click the folder and then just boom you could add photos into this one and you ain't even got to do nothing else specifically for it. It all happens instantly. Also, music, I really like this one. I mean, like, let's say 
you just have a whole album or like any type of songs or anything along those lines let's say you make your own music or you make beats or anything if i wanted to and i made it on my device i could click this export and every single song that's on my device i could put on my desktop and put it on another device or i could have the whole entire thing on my laptop or even use these files or these type of songs or mp3 files for other type of things like let's say i make a song on my phone or something like that now i want to add this into a video and incorporate it somewhere else like i can instantly do that now without having to wait for any type of process or loading or trying to see if it'll actually change over or having to switch from the file extension that it is in in itunes i actually have the ability to just drag and drop and now i have it on my desktop without having to go through that whole entire process like when i tell you that this this saves a whole lot of time you got a ringtone if you just want to add and drop a ringtone that you want to um your actual recordings that you have you have videos same exact thing drag and drop if you want to tv shows basically it just turns your whole entire iphone into a flash drop like it's so quick so fast and then as far as your file explorer, you can literally drag and drop anything within all of these. Look at all these different folders that's on your iPhone, which you won't be able to do if you was to just open up iTunes. So all types of stuff, podcast, ad lock, download. You can actually go into all of these and pick whatever you want inside of it, whatever type of media that's inside of it, photo, picture, Excel sheet, document, anything, and then just drag and drop it from out of here onto your desktop instantly or if you want to put something inside of these folders you could do the same thing drag and drop it if, instead of having to go through the whole process of trying to do it on itunes if you can even do it on itunes so now jumping into our toolbox we got file explorer again we have battery master man this show you basically all the way down to how much more time you have for your phone to be fully charged or whatever I mean, not that important, especially for today, but I know every single iPhone right now don't have this type of information for sure. All the way down to your milliamps. I know it's not that crucial, but I'm just saying, there's additional information that you wouldn't be able to find inside of iTunes. You got your mobile storage, virtual location, photo transfer, all this extra information. You could literally screen record from your laptop right here, desktop manager, all types of different stuff. So definitely check out this software it's free it takes less than five minutes to really put onto your laptop this is the website right here all you do right here is go to free download windows mac download it takes less than five minutes and boom you have it and it's going to save you way more time versus having to go in and out of itunes like itunes been making me mad for years it's like the biggest thing why people don't get iphones because they just don't like the whole itunes process the whole box process i got to go through this one app to do all of this different stuff why can't i just plug it up and then just start dragging dropping you know what i mean but yeah that's just my spiel let me know what y'all think if y'all feel like this is helpful or useful if you had issues with itunes ever in your life let me know have all your stuff randomly just deleted at one point maybe photos maybe music let me know because it didn't happen to me plenty of times and that concludes this video don't forget to comment like and subscribe it really do help the channel definitely go check out my instagram drader plug one two three and then go also check out my other youtube channel i have a link down below this was the channel i started a little while ago Oh, it's basically about barbering and basically giving your own self a fresh cut and looking nice when you step out the house. So definitely check out that channel. I do all types of different haircuts and be looking forward for the next video that drop. And I'm out.